Hello, I'm going to read my poem from the Cancer Poetry Project 2. Yet there is still such beauty. There was your mother, her bird-like breast, the only one I ever knew. And so I did not think it strange to rest my head upon the hard plane of her ribs when she and grandpa read to me in bed. And I delighted in the small round pillows, so deliciously resilient that she lay on her bureau every night for morning placement in her bra. There was Anna, whose watercolor painting of a frog in a beret you hung in your own studio to remind you of her quiet whimsy and of the day she let you see her hatless, scarfless, wigless, let you wash the baby wisps of her once thick hair and closed her eyes and smiled beneath your touch. There was Karen, whose daughter you walked home from her first day of school. She buoyant and abrim with happy chatter, for she had not understood the meaning of her mother's chemo and still did not at the burial where she ran off and twirled among the gravestones, braids flying outward, waiting for the somber faced adults to see the bright blue day, the maple leaves, red and orange, floating to her outstretched hands. And there was you in your late summer garden on the day we brought you home, surgery not stopping you from gently pulling weeds. Your straw hat was tied beneath your chin, your shirt a powder blue, the sun slanting so that every blossom seemed lit from within, aster, sedum, blanket flower, hosta, and the light fell on your busy hands. And when you turned, it found your face and you, like the flowers, were aglow. Thank you.